Hello Excelers, welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the if error function in Excel to deal with any errors that you may get when you're doing some calculations in your data set. So I've already set up data set one and data set two. What I'm going to do is divide the data in C by B. So let's go ahead and start the division of C4 divided by B4. And let's start to drag that formula down. So we can see that already we have some errors in the data. So we're trying to divide a letter by a number. That's not going to work. We have a value error. And we're also got the uh, divide by zero error. So let's begin with the equal and if error. Open our parentheses. And we want to divide C4 by B4 again. We're using the same calculation. And then what this the second argument is value if error. What do you want to replace the error with? So let's keep it really simple and say zero. And let's drag that formula down. So this first one obviously has no error, so it does the normal calculation. And we can see that where we have the two errors, it's been replaced with zero. So if error is quite flexible, so if you wanted to indicate to the user that there was an error, we can actually put some text. It could be there is an error here. Let's drag that down. You can see that whatever you want to put in there. So that's how you use the if error. It's quite flexible. You can replace the value here with anything you want. It may just be the zero. It may be an indication to the user there's an error. So if you're happy enough to replace the errors in Excel with a zero or some text to indicate to the user, go ahead. If you need to deal with the errors in your data, deal with them rather than just replacing them. I'll leave that one up to you. So that's how to use the if error function in Excel. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, and I'll see you next time for my next video.